So look, the, the biggest thing the, the biggest thing you need to understand about that is pro formas rarely work out. Okay? You can spreadsheet the crap out of it. You can have any kind of scenario, what ifs you want, um, which 99% of them are a waste of time, by the way. Uh, I mean, it's just income, expenses, net income. I mean, but anyway, uh, performers rarely, rarely work. Rarely work out. Um, things never happen on your schedule. The things happen on the thing schedule. And that's not to say you don't do it. You don't buy the property, invest in it, you know, refinance it, whatever. It's just you need to know there's your plan and the universe's plan. So, you know, we've got, you know, we've got about a thousand apartment units, a little over that. Uh, most of which we own 100%. There's, there's quite a few of them where we've, we're like partners in them. We own a piece of them. And in all of them, there's always, you know, a budget for the year, you know, the plan and what's going to happen. Uh, and I can tell you, on some things, we're really close, right? On other things, it's like, holy shit, what happened? Um, now, some of the news is good. You know, we come out good. Some of the news is holy shit news, Right? Um, and the thing that you got to make sure you don't, you just don't want to fall too much in love with what you've got planned in your numbers. You got to have some flexibility, at least at the worst case in the back of your mind, because the pro formas rarely work out. Uh, we just went through, so 26 to, for our big real estate, you know, our, our fund, 2016, 2017, was basically capital improvement campaign year. So at the end of the day, I wanted to make sure we did capital improvements on most of our properties because I think, and still do, that there's gonna be huge demand from investors in 2020, 2021, 2022 to own our stuff. And I think there's gonna be continued demand for tenants to wanna rent our stuff. So I wanna put a bunch of money into our properties in 16, 17, and part of 18, to get us ramped up and ready for that. I want our units to rent for more money. I want them to be more valuable so that if we decide we want to maybe sell or refinance these in the next two or three years, we've got some really, really good product that we'll get top pricing for, okay? So I thought that we would start this in 2016 and be done in early 2017. That was the plan. That was the pro forma that we had laid out. It took us a year longer. Hell, it took over two years to get it done. Right? You name it, it came up. Uh, call it Murphy's Law, whatever you want to call it. It, it. it happened. And so the numbers that we thought we'd have, we didn't have. And then on top of that, when you're talking to investors, partners, um, you know, other people, and you're saying, here's kind of what you're thinking, and it's over here, <laughs> the results are, in some of the properties, basis, basis, you know, versus what you thought, you know, then you've got some explaining to do. Uh, and so, look, you never want to think that just because the numbers are telling you what it should be, that that's what it's going to be. They're really, always remember that they're really pretty much benchmarks they're not um, specific marks. They're not specific exactly. They're benchmarks. Okay, And as long as you know that and realize that and have some flexibility with that, you're going to be just fine. But don't fall in love with performance. Don't put too much into them in terms of where you think it's going to be because rarely do they work out like they're set up. Um, I mean, it's just like you ask any, any banker, and you say, hey, does the, does the business plan for XYZ business, how does that turn out? Well, rarely does it turn out like, you know, they think it's going to. Same kind of thing.